Hey, good morning. Welcome back into the show. It is Thursday, March 12, 2015. This is Wake Up With Alan. I'm Mike Bettis. And I'm Jen Delgado. Now, Alan staff, they are off today, but we are coming to you live from Atlanta, and we have so much to talk about today. How'd they get a Thursday off? I want to know how they got a day off. Hmm. Mm. We give them days off at Yeah, and you know, Al's like, he works all the time. I think he he's back tomorrow. Jen this morning. All right, Mike, I'll pick it up from there. You know, you're more than welcome to walk through my shot just to give me a little payback. Well, the South is simply just stuck in a soggy, wet pattern. For today, it's going to be across areas just spreading into Little Rock as we go later into the morning hours. Noontime, 1 o'clock, working into parts of Jackson, Mississippi. But one area you'll notice that's going to be a little bit quieter today with the rain uh, is going to be, we'll say, the eastern parts of Alabama. And right now, as we show you all that rain coming down, we're expecting to see some of those locations with some ponding out there. Yeah. And it looks like some localized flooding, especially from New Orleans up the Mississippi it's River. It's going to be a real issue, I think, for the next couple of day. days. It's mm -hmm. really soggy and not a lot of mm -hmm. sunshine to go around for sure. Well, we take you down to Florida where that mm -hmm. search will resume today for the Black Hawk military chopper that crashed during a special forces training mission. That's right. And thick fog forced crews to call off the search last night. Something investigators say likely contributed to this tragic accident. Our Mike Seidel joins us live from Navarre, Florida this morning. Mm -hmm. Mike, we, we found out a few specifics yesterday. The one helicopter went down, but the other helicopter that was with them actually turned back. Do we know anything more this morning? To mm -hmm. see what's on tap for us, not only today, which we know could be a rough uh, one for us to go on Gulf Coast, but the weekend has big changes, too. Yeah, we are going to see some big changes setting up for the weekend. As we take a look at your seven-day forecast, what we're seeing for today, of course, we know the temperatures are really nice across areas, including parts of the plains and the upper Midwest. Look at those 60s out there. Billings for you, but notice rain around. There's our thunderstorm threat. You can see from Louisiana into southern parts of Mississippi as well as into Alabama. When you're looking down at the photo, it looks like you want to run out of there and just say, hey, I'm calling it. Day. Well, speaking of a day, how about a day ahead? As we show you for the northeast, sunshine out there to start off your day. We're going to be looking at clear skies. And look at those numbers. They're going to be in the 30s and the 40s, so we are going to be cooler than what we were this time yesterday. A little bit windy at times in Boston, but notice the air is going to be cooler because we had a front that pushed through. Now, for you, New York City today, high 45 degrees. As we show you, the sunshine sticks around. You'll be clear throughout the evening. And then we look at parts of the upper Midwest, as well as even into the parts of the plains. This is going to be spectacular. Spectacular. You don't have to go to Florida to get some sunshine. You just go to areas like Des Moines, Kansas City, and St. Louis. You're going to be looking at sunshine. It looks like a little bit of rain trying to work into the southern part as we go later into the afternoon. I know a lot of barbecue and probably firing up. What do you think, Mike? Oh, get a lot of reflection off that white, white. powder. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and the next thing you know, you're enjoy. like, wait a minute. I've got all these tan lines in my right, face. Exactly. All right. Well, time now for your winter weather update. We want to bring in our winter weather expert, Tom Nizzle. He is standing by in the lab. And Tom, you're going to be talking more about the chance for what return of wintry weather for the Northeast? Yeah, for parts of New Thank you very much. Well, NASA is about to launch a storm chasing mission. Not yeah. going to fly to hurricanes. They're not chasing tornadoes. But for NASA spacecraft, we'll head into magnetic storms that circle the Earth. Yeah, how cool is that? And that is Dr. Michelle Fowler with NASA. And of course, that's something we're going to be looking at, you know, as a storm chaser yourself. It's taking I, it to I a new level. It. I, it's totally <laughs> outer space, right? Yeah. All right, well, search team's back today after Black Hawk crash in the Florida Panhandle. You can see really up the mouth of Mississippi into Jackson, up to areas including western parts of Tennessee. So yes, you do know we have that flood threat out there. Flash flooding, Paducah. But the rain will be coming down, and it's going to start to move into New Orleans a little bit later on. But right now, look at this area right here from Galveston, uh, east of Houston, Beaumont. We've been seeing uh, really just waves, low pressure just pulling in, all that yeah. moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. And now these areas are just getting hammered with the rain. Yeah, I don't think they're going to catch a break in no. the weekend. It looks like it's going to stay pretty soggy, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we turn now to Florida, where the search will resume today for a Black Hawk military chopper that crashed during a special forces training mission yesterday. How did you just say, OK, we're going to do this? We're going to commit to building an igloo in the yard. What do you say, Harry? Well, well, we did a lot of stuff here in the winter. <laughs> yeah. Lob it outside, so any excuse we Randy, put the phone closer to his mouth. Better. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Go. Oh, that better? That's yes, better. We, that better. we always, always get a lot of snow. We always get a lot of snow here. Or am I wrong? Did you get more than that in that area? Uh, over the winter, yeah, more than four feet. It's kind of melted a little bit down. We got about two feet on the ground still here in areas where we're at. We live in the shade, so nothing really melts until mm -hmm. April. All right, well, let's give you a wait, forecast because I know, I know we can Sage up there. Go Sage's down the slide. Like, go ahead, Sage. Come on we're down the slide while we give you a let's forecast. Because I know we were concerned a little bit about the melting, and you guys were doing some patching yesterday. Uh -huh. So, Jim, we've got a forecast yeah. for them uh, over the next Come couple of days. I think certainly over the day today. Come on. 
Or, wait, let's see she if we can get it live. Is she going to do it? See if we can get it go, live. Yeah. There the she goes. Oh, nice. All right. I like that. Now we can take the forecast. You know, in the what am I thinking about the... Coppola? The, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, thank you. The, the loft. The loft. The loft, the loft exactly. <laughs> so that, that that's, the, that's the issue right through there. But uh, other than that, you know, just uh, enjoy it. It's going to be there for all side of this thing. now. Because I don't think we showed it. But can we go to the pictures? Thanks, you guys, so much for being yeah. a hashtag my weather. Uh, I absolutely love these moments. Jim, I know you've got some weather to get you know, to. Right. Can I use this wall? Do you guys mind? Yeah, no, no, no. Can we put my stuff in this wall? Because I've never even used this. Yeah. What the heck? So let's put. Well, I think that's in the deal. Max, I think you have six. your area. I have my. Jen and I have our area. That's but my okay, area. Is that right? That's you want to use it that's today? In the that's deal. okay. my home. Oh, look at this. This is tremendous. Use it. Uh, first of all, here we are down in Australia. This is Olin, by the way. There's a little town called Exodus.